Pepita and the Bully. Pepita waved goodbye to the bus driver. She raced down Pepper Street, her black braids bouncing behind her. She was in a hurry to get home and talk to Mama. She wanted to tell her that three days in her new school were enough. She did not want to go there again. Pepita's face wrinkled up into a big frown. She was sorry because she really liked Miss Chu, her teacher. Miss Chu had black eyes and a soft, sunny smile. Pepita also liked her classroom with bright bulletin boards and cut out red letters that said, welcome to a new school year. She especially liked the playground with its tall shady tree and benches, but she did not like Babette. She had brown hair, blue eyes, and skin that looked like peach ice cream, but she was not nice. Pepita's frown grew bigger when she remembered her first day of school. She had gone up to Babette and said, Hello, my name's Pepita. What's yours? Pepita, yuck, Babette said. That's not a name. That's nothing but a noise. Pepita felt her face grow hot. She was angry. It is so a name, she said, and it's mine. Babette just turned and walked away. On the second day, Miss Chu asked her students to talk about their favorite things. Pepita told them her dog Lobo could understand Spanish. At recess, Babette says, I bet your dog has fleas. Pepita felt her face grow hot. She was angry. He does not, she cried. Babette just turned and walked away. And today was even worse. Babette yanked her braids and said, your braids look like two raggedy ropes. You should cut them off. Pepita felt her face grow hot. She was really angry. They are not ropes, she cried. They're braids. And if you pull them again, I'll tell Miss Chu. Babette yelled, tattletale, tattletale, and turned and walked away. Pepita was glad when the school day was over. Yes, she thought as she raced home. Three days are enough. I don't want to go to that school again. In the middle of the block, Pepita saw Mrs. Green digging in her garden. Hello, Mrs. Green, she said. Can I ask you something? Do you think my name is funny? Why no, Pepita, Mrs. Green answered. Your name has a very lovely sound. It reminds me of bright little flowers. Pepita nodded and smiled. That's nice, she said. Thank you, Mrs. Green. A few houses down the block, Pepita saw Jose, the mailman, stepping out of his truck. Hello, Senor Jose, she called. Can I ask you something? Do you think Lobo understands Spanish? Why, yes, Pepita, I do, the mailman answered. I told him to sit. And when he did, I said, Bron Perito, good little dog. And he wagged and wagged his tail. Of course he understands Spanish. Pepita nodded and smiled. I thought so too, she said. Thank you, Senor Jose. When Pepita was near her own house, she saw Mrs. Becker standing by her easel, painting a pot of red geraniums. Hello, Mrs. Becker, she said. Can I ask you something? Do you think my braids look like raggedy ropes? Why no, Pepita, Mrs. Becker answered. Your braids are very lovely. They remind me of black satin ribbons and shining in the sun. Pepita nodded and smiled. That's nice, she said. Thank you, Mrs. Becker. When Pepita got home, she found her mother in the kitchen. Mama, she said, I can't go back to that school again. Why? Mama asked. I thought you liked your new school. So did I, Pepita said, until I talked to Babette. And who is Babette? Mama asked. 
Babette is a bully, Pepita said. She's mean to me, Mama. I'm not going back to school. No, no, Mama said. That cannot be. School is important. But let's see what Papa has to say. At supper that night, Pepita told her family what Babette had said to her. She says my name is nothing but noise, that Lobo has fleas, that my braids are raggedy ropes, and she yanked them. That's why I'm not going back to school. I see, Papa said, but you have to go to school. So tomorrow, if Babette yanks your braids again, you must tell your teacher. But if Babette says mean things to you, either you can answer her politely or you can walk away. But whatever you do, you must be kind. Kind? Pepita said, asked. Is that like nice? Papa nodded. Yes, nice will do. Pepita's brother Juan said, just don't fight with her. Bullies like fights. In bed, Pepita tossed and turned and tumbled until her blankets were in a tangle. She dragged her doll, Dora, out from under the blankets and placed her against the pillow. Dora, she said, tomorrow Babette will say mean things to me. Dora's face looked sad. Pepita sat up straight and punched the pillow. What if she tries to hit me? Dora disappeared under the blankets. Pepita pulled her out again. Don't worry, Dora, she said. I'll think of something. Dora huddled close. They snuggled together and fell asleep. In the morning, Pepita got out of bed slowly. She dressed slowly. She ate breakfast slowly. She twisted and turned and muttered and mumbled while Mama brushed and braided her hair. But no matter what Pepita did, nothing slowed down the clock. It was time to go to school. Mama, Pepita complained. Three days are enough. But Mama said, School is important, and if you don't hurry, you'll be late. So Pepita went to school. Her classroom was sunny and bright. Her teacher smiled at her. But across the room, Babette wrinkled up her nose and made an ugly face. At recess, Mindy asked Pepita to play hopscotch. Pepita was about to say yes, but she saw Babette standing nearby. She gave Mindy a friendly wave went to the farthest corner of the playground and sat under a shady tree. Babette was right behind her. That's my bench, Babette said. I don't like you sitting there. Pepita stood up. What do you like? She asked and started to walk away. I don't like you for sure, Babette said. Pepita felt her face grow hot. She was angry. She stopped and turned. Maybe you don't like anything at all, she called. Maybe you don't even like your name. Maybe you don't even like yourself. And I'll bet you don't even have a dog. You aren't nice, Babette said, and a tear rolled down her cheek. You aren't nice at all. Pepita's mouth dropped wide open. Her brother had told her not to fight. Papa had told her to be kind. And look what she had done. Babette was crying. Most times I'm nice, Pepita said, and I'm polite too. But you say mean things. Maybe if you stop being mean, somebody would ask you to play too. I wouldn't play if you were playing because I don't like your braids, Babette said. See, you're being mean. I wouldn't play if you were playing because you have a funny name, Babette said. You're just being mean again. Anyway, Pepita's who I am. But I might play, Babette said, if... Stop making excuses, Pepita said. Do you want to play or don't you? Babette bit her lip, sniffed, and gave a hesitant little nod. Okay, Pepita said, but you'd better blow your nose. She handed Babette a tissue from her pocket. Then she swung around and raced towards the center of the yard. Wait, Mindy, wait for us. Babette and I want to play.